The top five secret weapons that nobody knows to use. What really makes a weapon secret? First, it has to be picked in less than 0.5% of loadouts. Next, it's gonna have to be competitive against the meta or secretly be in the meta. And these weapons will leave players baffled while watching their kill cams saying, what the heck is he using? I'm gonna tell you a couple stats and how to use each weapon while also giving you the best class setup. And number five is the AK-74U, which has always been competitive but never really used by the community. It is picked in 0.25% of loadouts. So what does it excel at? First, it has a great range for an SMG. With the setup, it's gonna have 14 meters of range and it's top in time to kill. Most SMGs only max out at 10 meters and this gives this SMG a huge advantage over most weapons from eight to 14 meters. You might be wondering, what's the time to kill up close? And it is above average at 688 milliseconds. That is actually gonna be identical to the TTK of the Marco with the recoil booster, but we have an extra four meters of range with the AK. With those facts alone, you can see that the AK-74U is definitely competitive to the meta weapons. Then it is also very accurate with very little recoil. And the main drawback is that you need to hit chest shots in order to achieve the good time to kill. But since it is a close range weapon with low recoil, that is super easy to hit mainly chest shots if you're consciously aiming for it. And let's hop into the setup really quickly. So we start off with the Gru Suppressor because this gets our bullet velocity plus our recoil down and effective damage range up. Then we're gonna try to increase its movement. So we start off with the KGB Skeletal Stock, which is sprint to fire time and aim walking movement speed, two super important things up close. Then we go with the Serpent Wrap to increase our aim down sight speed. And then we have the 50 round mag so we can increase our damage for mag, which this weapon is very good at because it's one of those slower firing SMGs with high damage per bullet. Then we throw on the Bruiser Grip because this is movement speed and hip fire accuracy, two things that are gonna make it excel as an SMG. Number four, the Volk. I've talked about this being one of the best sniper supports in Warzone, but it is still only picked in 0.41% of loadouts. So I'm going going over it again. And then it has a good average KD of 1.07 when players are using it. That is far above average and one of the highest KD assault rifles in all of Warzone. If you use it as a sniper support or an SMG, it is elite and within the meta. Your movement is going to be fantastic on an assault rifle and on the level of SMGs when you put on the 45 round mag. Then the time to kill up close with 21 meters of range is going to be 630 milliseconds, which is tied for the fastest time to kill SMG from all of Cold War and Modern War for SMGs, but this is an assault rifle with double the range. We're gonna have elite mobility, elite time to kill up close, and elite range for a close range weapon. This is a gun that needs to start being used more and you're gonna love this setup. We start off with the recoil booster and the 45 round mag. That's what gets your time to kill up to 630 milliseconds up close, as well as getting your movement up tremendously. And your fire rate goes up, which makes it more forgiving. Then from there, we're gonna have a few things for movement and a few things for accuracy. So first off, Mark V Skeletal, tape grip, movement. Slide of hand, we have this on, because 45 rounds is a little bit low and the damage for mag is a little low, but this makes your reload under two seconds, so it kind of nicks that in the butt with the damage for mag being an issue because you reload so quickly. Then we're gonna go with this Rise Dwarf adjustable because this helps us with our initial firing recoil, which is actually the problem on the Volk for its accuracy. It kicks up more at the beginning than at the end. And then we get some aim walking steadiness and movement speed, which is gonna help it out up close a lot. And then we go with this Crossic 428 because this is gonna increase our damage range, our bullet velocity, as well as making it really easy to aim. So this weapon is a beam, super mobile, and a good time to kill. Try it out as your sniper support or as your SMG. Number three, the PKM or Brune. I'm gonna focus a little bit more on the PKM because I like it just a little bit more. And it is picked in 0.33% of loadouts. But both of these LMGs have elite time to kills that are far superior to every single long range assault rifle at 800 milliseconds. Most of the popular ARs like the Grau, which is the number one used assault rifle currently, is nearly 200 milliseconds slower at 984 milliseconds. The Automaton is 975. These LMGs are a bit slow, but they make up for it with an elite time to kill and damage for mag, as well as range. This PKM has over 40 meters of range on its top end TTK, which is 720 milliseconds. So you're going to be absolutely frying ARs from those 25 to 40 meters where they actually dropped off to their long range time to kill before this PKM did. And then even after it's time to kill drops off, you're still going to be killing faster. These weapons do change your play style, however, a little bit, and they definitely slow you down if you're using them how they should be used. But one surprising fact about the PKM is that its aim down sight speed is actually super fast and better than the ARs I just mentioned with the Growl and Automaton. So at least it has one advantage in mobility. Personally, I don't use the PKM as much as I should because I'm very aggressive and always moving around. 
but if you have a slower playstyle, these LMGs are meta long range weapons, accurate with insane time to kills, and the setup for the PKM is going to be the monolithic suppressor with the 26.9 extended barrel because they both increase your bullet velocity, damage range, and recoil control. Then we go with the TAC laser because this helps us with our ADS, aiming stability, and aim walking steadiness. Then the VLK 3X because that's just kind of the long range optic that you go with on modern warfare weapons. And then we go with the snatch grip because this actually increases our recoil control as well as our aim down sight speed, and that's why it's faster than the assault rifles. Please give this a try again on Caldera. It's very good. And if you've been enjoying this video so far, let's get this video to 50 likes and subscribe for more Warzone content like this that is going to help keep you on top of the meta and weapons other people might not be using. Number two, the M1928. This is the Tommy gun. I've made an entire video dedicated to this weapon a while back, a couple months ago, but it still isn't used nearly enough. It's only picked in 0.13% of loadouts. The Vanguard SMGs keep on getting nerfed and nerfed, but the M1928 was only nerfed one time because no one uses it, and it barely did anything, meaning it is even better now in comparison to the other SMGs in Warzone. Just no one knows how to build the weapon out properly, and that's why the community thinks it's bad. But what if I told you my setup gives it one of the better end time to kills in all of Warzone up close at 649 milliseconds? That's better than the Blixen and the Marco, two of the most popular SMGs. You're probably intrigued now. Well, I don't think this is necessary better than those SMGs, it is very competitive against them and one of the best for Fortune's Keeper Rebirth. The fire rate is over a thousand rounds per minute, making it very forgiving if you miss a couple shots. The SMG is a close range specialist, making it not incredibly versatile, which is why I don't recommend it on Caldera, but it is fantastic on those smaller maps. Try out this setup and you won't regret it. So we start off with the recoil booster, chariot rapid, and this 50 round drum. That's why our fire rate goes up so much and our time to kill goes up by so much. The chariot rapid is the most important attachment because this lowers your TTK by nearly 100 milliseconds, and that has to be on every setup of the Tommy gun. Then the 50 round mag is nice because it increases our movement speed, our ADS and fire rate, while also making the recoil more controllable and accurate. And then we have a couple things geared towards accuracy because these rapid fire attachments do add to the recoil. So that's what we have on the Carver foregrip to really help with our vertical recoil and we still get some hip fire accuracy making it really nice up close. Then we go with the group grip because this helps with our aim walking movement speed which is very important on SMGs up close and then we get our horizontal recoil down and some aiming stability. So those are all very helpful. Then we got fleet and quick to help out with the mobility and then the chariot marksman is for our aim down side speed plus horizontal recoil control you won't regret trying this out on those smaller maps and before moving over to number one i'd like to give a couple honorable mentions with the qbz and owen gun I just did Warzone Roulette where I had a wheel randomly select my loadout and I got these two weapons and I found out that they're both criminally underrated. I go over their stats and setups in that video and didn't want to repeat them here. I'll have that linked in the pinned comment of the video if you want to watch it after this. And I'll get back into the list with number one being the Vargo 52 from Cold War. It is only picked in 0.41% of loadouts and has an average KD of 1.12. I don't know if you understand how good that is. That is the second highest for any assault rifle in Warzone. And I personally think it is actually a top two AR in Warzone currently, and no one is using it for some reason. It has a 900 millisecond time to kill at long range with a fast fire rate and very little recoil. It's basically an M13, but with a 40 millisecond faster time to kill. They also recently buffed it to where it doesn't get a big aim down sight penalty when equipping the 60 round mag, which was one of its problems before, making it feel and perform much better in those bigger modes. The one issue with it is damage for mag, but now that we can actually use the biggest magazine without worrying about the slow aim down sight speed, it's now accurate, kills fast, and has a blazing fast fire rate, making it very forgiving. This weapon is meta and you need to be using this setup right now. So we're going to use the Gru Suppressor and Task Force, which are both for bullet velocity, recoil control, and effective damage range. Actually, alarms three times, just so we get a ranged optic. The 60-round mag that now doesn't have a very big aim down sight penalty. And then the Spetsnaz Grip for our vertical and horizontal recoil. It's your typical Cold War setup. Basically, within three or four games, I was already amazing with this weapon. There's no adjustment time. I was getting 20 bomb after 20 bomb with it. I love this weapon. You're going to love it too. And then if you want to see that Warzone Roulette video with the other two underrated weapons, and their setups, click right here and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.